thank everybody for joining in to the Law Talk Radio. Today we're going to talk on Kavon Frazier, what he brings to the team, his aspect as far as uh, the NFL temperament, and um, will he be able to uh, transition over uh, Barry Church. Now, one can argue the fact that uh, he's J.J. Wilcox's replacement. No, that's not the scenario, nor the key. Uh, I think uh, he's more so uh, Barry Church down the line replacement. I think Barry Church is now in his career as a bridge player or a gap player, as one would argue. And hopefully, Kayvon or Kevon or Kay Frazier can learn from Barry Church and be able to be formidable in that fashion. Uh, now, J.J. Wilcox, of course, his position is going to be covered by Barry. Not Barry, but uh, Byron Jones. And um, that's just the bottom line there. But hopefully what I saw on tape and film is the kid is fast, placed down into the box, can play actually three positions. In nickel, he can play a linebacker. Uh, he can play the free safety, but his stronger suit will be the strong safety. Very aggressive on the run support, can stop the run support, can shoot up the gaps can tackle, tackle base, shoulders high, uh, don't do a lot of arm tackling, tackle more so with his shoulder, can grab and throw you down to the ground, has that type of uh, strength. Uh, as far as vision, it's just a uh, mediocre or at this point, hopefully he can learn and be a better, have better vision as far as eye and the quarterback. Now, when he's deep down, way back into the strong safety aspect, his vision just a little bit better. So maybe um, it, as in time grows, he will be able to uh, be able to see down the field better and very, very well uh, study the quarterback tendencies. As far as those traits are something that uh, we would like to have more instincts on, but uh, can't win at all, right? Uh, the, the scouts had a fourth, fourth round grade on him or fourth grade on him. Uh, outside of that, I believe... Um, at times, uh, he, he do become too aggressive. His cons were that uh, he becomes too aggressive at times and take bad angles. I, I, when I saw that, I was like, oh, wow. But bad angles in a sense of, of just being aggressive, not bad angles in a sense of, of J.J. Wilcox. But uh, hopefully the NFL speed won't, won't be too fast for him. As we all know, uh, the other con was he had a stress factor on the foot, so that's probably why he dropped in the draft uh, altogether. But... Um, from what I can see is that he can, you know, hit, hit very well and can lay the wood down. Uh, we all know that the safeties in the league is a dying position, meaning that uh, not an aspect that they're going to get rid of safeties, but they trying to call up safeties because in the 80s and the 90s, you've known safeties to just lay the wood down. The Merton Hanks of the world, uh, Steve Atwaters and the Ronnie Lots are just gone because now you can catch the ball freely or touch the ball freely and uh, become a runner before the safety is able to lay the wood um, and, and that becomes a, a harder position to play for the simple strength uh, back in the days you would think three or four times or think twice about coming across the middle and that used to be a formality of the defense to fear of you coming across the middle. You can have the outside, but you can't have the middle. But we all know that safeties now are now hybrids. Uh, and one of the first hybrids that I've known in my small time on this earth was uh, Darren Woodson. He, he, he played the position well. He played the position like you're supposed to play it and uh, was able to play strong and free and sometimes creep down into the linebacker position. Hopefully, Frazier can uh, pick up those type of tendencies and, and play all three positions that way. But we all know that he don't have the same temperament as, as Darren Woodson. Hybrid safeties are like the Sean Taylors of the world. May he rest in peace. And Ed Reeds and uh, um, uh, I, I would throw in Troy as well. Palamamu, I think I said his name right. Those were the, um, the next phase of the hybrid type of safeties that's out there. And then you have your converted safeties like the uh, Rod Woodson. Uh, he was converted from a, um, a cornerback to a safety. And Charles Woodson, those players can play safety, played safety at a top level. And, um, of course, you have your Eric Berries out there. And uh, 
that that kid right there is just awesome altogether. But uh, outside of that, hopefully uh, Frazier will be able to uh, step up his game and become in the talk tracks of those type of players or, or come into the same arena, but not in the same. Well, if, if that happened, then, then then we won from that particular draft. But uh, as I can see collectively, we did get a steal from him. He, he got, like I say, very, very great speed. And that's one thing that you can coach, right, is speed. And he can lay the wood down into the box, play that strong safety. And uh, hopefully um, where I think uh, the Cowboys is going with this whole entire defense as far as secondary is Anthony Brown may be the uh, the new Orlando Scandrick, may be coming into his position. And they're going to push Orlando to the outside and uh, have uh, maybe Morris Claiborne, if he can stay healthy, play to the outside. I don't know what their plans are with Carr. Uh, just update me down below if you guys know of what they're going to do with Carr or what they're going to do with J.J. Wilcox outside of releasing him or cutting him or, or whatever. But Frazier will be able to play uh, back to Frazier. He will be able to play safety far as a special team too as well fast he's gonna be able to play on the special team i don't know he i don't think he can do kickoff returns no but he will be able to be one of those guys maybe hopefully he can be a runner or a gunner however you call it uh down there and be able to lay the wood on some of the players if i will be able to see in the upcoming weeks and this sort of thing so please leave your comments down below uh subscribe to the channel if you want more content or more information on the cowboys uh, and, and all those good things. I thank you guys for your time. That's been my time. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. May God bless until I see you guys on the other end. How about them Cowboys? I'm out.